What is up, YouTube? Chris Mouton here. And matter of the fact is that I have not been shredded in well over a year now. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to fix that, my approach. And I'm not going to sell you guys anything. I'm just going to tell you how I do this. I will say, however, I am a coach. So if you want help, let me know. But getting into it. So the reason why I haven't been shredded for the longest time is because I went to Bali last year in 2023. And that was just like a big culture shock for me. Mentally, I wasn't that great. But long story short, like I just couldn't handle it. And that's fine. You know, what? it's cool. I'm human. I fuck up. It's cool. But anyways, I'm in a better mental state now. And I really want to get shredded. I want to get my eight pack back. I want to get veins in my abs. I want to feel small, sleek, slender, like the fucking Usain Bolt little ass dude. So that is the goal. My approach to all of this is the cardio is going to be over here. My full on cardio approach is going to be very systematic. It's going to be very calculated and it's going to be very slow. Once again, the biggest thing that I see with my clients and just me in general is that if you do a slower approach, it's usually a little bit better. As like Sam Sulek who dive in balls deep and do like a quick mini cut works for them because one, they're on a lot of gear and two, they know exactly what they are capable of. They're able to go through that mental stress, dropping weight, in a short period of time is very mentally taxing and I don't feel like being mentally taxed. I run a seven figure coaching business. I have hundreds of clients to look after. I don't want to feel shit and I want to feel on top of my game and have energy. So that's why the cardio regime is going to look like this. In terms of my training, I'm going to be training four times a week. I'm going to do an upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body split with a little bit of emphasis on different body groups in those sessions, but it'll still be generally upper body. Starting from week eight, we're going to move from four days to five days. Then we're going to do a push-pull legs, upper body, lower body split. I'm going to change on the light. I just found that these splits work the best for me. And that is what I'm going to stick to. Because when I had my best physique, I was following a five-day workout split. I was training push-pull legs, upper body, lower body. And then later down the line, I swapped out the full upper body for dedicated arm day. And that's how I built these badonkadonks of arms. Um, and I like training arms. I think big arms are sexy. So keep pushing. Here you can find out a workout breakdown of every day of the four day workout split. Bum, 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 bum. In terms of cutting down and shredding, I don't look bad by any stretch of the imagination, but I am large. I personally find that I operate and feel better when I am of a smaller stature. I've never, I never got into this game to be a big honker do fucking bodybuilder ass man. I don't, I never wanted to be this big. It just happened. Um, genetics and sort of consistently and just actively loving the gym put me in the position that I am. Yay, oh, such sad issues, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, being a fat kid at heart, when things get difficult for me and I sort of struggle with life, I tend to eat and I sort of drown my emotions in eating, which I know is not the right thing to do, but that is me. And once again, I am human, I fuck up and it's fine, we move on. But no excuse, nevertheless, I want to get back to my shredded look. I like that look, regardless of what people say. I've had so many people on Instagram and social media tell me, oh, no, you look so fucking big and good when you're this full and, and whatever. Um, good for them. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing this for myself. I feel better when I am smaller and more shredded. And I'll get a considerable amount of mass, so I'm keen to see how that goes. But a lot of people tell you how you should look and how you should do and what you should do. And yeah, you should go study this and do that and do this with your body. Fuck that. You are the creator of your life. The only thing that is constant in your life is you. So as long as you do what makes you happy, you are going to be fine. Cool. With well, that out of the way, I am back in Vintuk, Namibia. If you don't know where that is, it's a very small country in Africa. There's about 2.5 million people in the whole country. I was born and raised here. And then when I went to university, I went to Cape Town. And I dropped out of university and pursued social media thing and coaching, which I just thoroughly enjoy and I have a lot more passion for. And it gives me greater room to grow as a person. But I am back home for a few weeks just to sort out some passports, some IDs, some driver's licenses. I drive a massive bike, but I don't have a license, so I probably need to get that fixed. We're going to do a little bit of a full body workout. I haven't really, I don't really need to do a full body workout, but I also feel like I haven't trained exceptionally hard this week. So I'm just going to go give that a go. Plus there's a new gym that I want to go check out. So might as well get some content, shoot some reels, do a little bit of a workout, um, and most importantly, do cardio that I need to do. So yeah, I'll need to do 15 minutes, but I didn't do 15 minutes twice this week, so I'm going to do half an hour of strict cardio, and then we also need to go do the steps for today, so I'll probably aim for like 6,000 steps, um, while I respond to DMs from people who are applying to coaching and all of that. The biggest tip that I can give you guys for cardio is link that to something positive. Don't just do cardio for the sake of doing cardio. Do something else. Previously, I would watch a movie while doing cardio, 
or I would respond to DMs, I'd respond to emails, I'd sometimes talk to my mom or my dad while I'm on a long walk. That way, cardio goes by so quickly and you don't actually think about the act of doing cardio. Because let's be real, cardio fucking sucks. But cardio sucks less when you're talking to your mom or your dad and discussing all the issues and the female problems you have in life. So, let it go by quicker. Without further ado, we are gonna go wrap up, get ready for gym, and I wanna show you. I've did, done a little bit of an outfit change, the baggy ass pants, because I have a mean burn on my calf from this mean ass Harley. So, yeah. But anyways, good, good bike, we love it. But yeah, I could do, I could do like a Sam Sulek type video where I take my dad's car and like I put the camera there and I drive and whatever, whatever. But this thing's fucking cool. <laughs> and I love this bike. Um, it's not my bike, it's my dad's bike. But nevertheless, things are fucking beast. It drives sick, it sounds good. So we are going to go to the new gym and yeah, you'll see me there. Okay, so this is pretty freaking wild for Namibia, but I found this new gym and it is absolutely insane. Warehouse style gym. I'm the only person here, other than the owner. Um, you just don't see like this, you just, you just don't see stuff like this in, Af in Namibia, really. Namibia or Cape Town, don't really see stuff like this. And just look, it's crazy. It is the coolest stuff. There's rings, calisthenic bars, powerlifting racks. This looks like, like an American style high school. <laughs> but for us Africans, it looks so, so dope. And they've got a UFC thing over there. Jake Paul fight me. And some more like jujitsu style pads over there. Really, and there's even the little fucking mannequin things all down front. But seriously, absolutely phenomenal stuff. So I don't know, I've got a little bit of an overload. They even have a pin squat or like, what is this? Squats, pull-ups, squat, pull-up, Weighted pull up, squat, pin squat, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I think plan of attack for today is we're gonna do a full body session. So I can test out all of the equipment over here. Um, and then obviously we do some abs, get, uh, we do some cardio and some abs, do like everything that we need to do. And then we take it from there. I'll also see how the lighting looks, boom. So from a steps point of view, I just like starting every workout with like 15 to 20 minutes of steps. It's just three steps towards your goal and doesn't really impact your training. At this point, I left my mic on the other side of the gym because I left it magnetized to a piece of equipment and I, and I forgot about it. But pretty much all that I'm saying here is how nice it is to go into a new gym. All of this equipment is new, all this equipment is fresh. It rejuvenizes, if that's a word, your love for gymming. So if you ever get tired of the space that you're currently at, take a day pass, go to a different gym and experiment. You can clearly see I have no idea what I'm doing with this machine but I got there in the end. Honestly, one plate was pretty damn heavy, but it was rest day, so I'm not too worried. So given the fact that today is rest day, I am not gonna focus the bodybuilding stuff, but I'm gonna focus on calisthenics because I am kind of fun. <laughs> I was gonna take off the t-shirt, because I feel like, even though I might not feel my best now, I know that when I look back, I'll one, either be proud of how far I've come, or two, I'll realize, damn Chris, you're actually a dumbass and you're a lot leaner than um, what you think you are. So, all that we're gonna do now, just some front levers and some back lever drills. Give it a go, I don't know, it's fun. And also, the gym lets me be shirtless, so why wouldn't I take oh. advantage of that? The thing about rings is you always gotta keep your hands in line, normally, like with a bar, it stays there, but with the rings, they can obviously twist, so you just gotta make sure they don't twist. <gasps> That's a lot harder than I remember.
the reason why I think everyone should just like take photos of themselves, even if it's not professional like I am. Just put your phone up. Like so many times I would think to myself like, ah, oh, I feel so fat and oh, I got all this skin. But then I record myself, look back at the footage and be like, damn, homie's actually not that bad. Like I'm kind of, I'm feeling myself. Like I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. All because I just recorded myself. But if I hadn't recorded myself, then I would have totally, no, it's fine. Then I would have totally not known like how I would feel. My mood would have stayed shit the whole day because I feel fat and sad and whatever. But now I record myself, I feel good, I feel happy. I feel like I look okay. So mood for the day is increased. But that being said, workout is finished. So wherever this transitions to, it'll transition to. Just came back from the house. I bought myself a little snack. Bought myself two Pepsi Maxes and a little bowl of peanut. And I bought myself a little bowl of pineapple. Pineapple, super low calorie, super voluminous, and your girlfriend will thank you indefinitely if you do consume it. So give it a go. In terms of nutrition, I'm just gonna cook myself a young chicken breast and like Mediterranean mix, all the Mediterranean mixes. It's potatoes mixed with broccoli, mixed with all sorts of other, think of think mixed veg, it's pretty much mixed veg. The nutritional approach in terms of the cut would be to start at 2,300 calories and work our way all the way down to 1,800 calories. I don't think I'll go much lower than that. I don't think that's necessary. I think if we were to go lower that, than that, we would be sacrificing a lot of muscle in the pursuit of fat loss which is never really advised. Most of my clients would lose about a kilogram a week, but obviously if you have a little bit less fat on your body, you can't expect a kilogram consistently being lost throughout. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a little shower, sweaty, disgusting. And yeah, gonna chill for the rest of the day. Got a few phone calls, got a few meetings with clients, and that is my Sunday wrapped up. But guys, that is the end of the vlog. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Show me that you enjoyed it and show me that you want more of these. It does help me out a lot. I still have no idea what I'm doing in this whole YouTube thing. So if you like it, let me know. Without further ado, Christmas on. Bye.